After I uploaded episode number 33, I came back downstairs and I did the rest of the teeth. And I was noticing by the time I got to about the 50th or 60th tooth that that repetition syndrome or whatever it's called was setting in. And I had to be very careful to concentrate on the blade and each tooth individually. You know, to avoid maybe having the tooth in the wrong place and dragging it across over the saw. Could have happened. That's how it happens. Anyway, I was lucky. They all went good. However, because I did not bother to change my blade or adjust my blade, I now have to sit down in front of my scroll saw and do a whole bunch of little trimming here. Get rid of that burr that you saw forming. Just the other day I was walking past this machine and I was thinking, I could have got by with the shorter version of this. I don't need this big long table. The shorter one is exactly the same, just shorter. However, today I'm glad I've got it. It's a little bit hard to see, but my homemade room air cleaner is pulled up close to the other side, and it's drawing the air across the table. I'm not breathing in any of that fine powdery sawdust. The filters are getting it all. I put in one of my spiral blades here a few minutes ago, and they take a little getting used to. Takes a bit of time to get your head around the fact that you don't have to turn your work. You just sort of push your work in the direction you want to go. And it actually works. It doesn't work well in a straight line though. Well, it sort of does, but not as well as a conventional blade. I'm using this blade as though it was a round rasp, only a very tiny round rasp, and it's doing a fairly good job. Now I'm not sure if this is going to be a good idea or not. I was thinking if I was to put a drop of CA Thin on each tooth and let it soak in, I don't know, sort of strengthen it, sort of like doing the poor man's cactus juice process, maybe I'm putting on too much. Now I will be trimming the ends of these teeth down probably just a little bit more in one side than the other so that I can get the radius identical to the final shaft, whether whatever that might be. I think it's going to be a 3 8 inch uh, rod, at least that's the plan right now. I don't see how that can hurt anything. Looks like it's too much on there and it globs up on the other side. That wouldn't be good. Because it's the other side where the bearing is going to ride on, not the side that I'm putting the CA glue to, on right now. Maybe I better let that soak in. Or maybe I should dab some of it off. I think I put too much on. Now yesterday I sort of said something that wasn't 100% true and I said something to the effect of that there would be absolutely no friction. Well, there will be some friction. There will be the friction of the air that the balance wheel is passing through and there will be some friction from the, uh, the rolling friction on the ball bearings. But the difference will be, well picture it like this. You've got a wheelbarrow. Well, you've got two wheelbarrows. One of them has a wheel on it, and uh, the other one has just got a skid on the front. Well, yeah, you can push the one with the skid, and there's a lot more friction. The one with the wheel, there's some friction, 
but there is so little friction, you can almost say there is no friction. Anyway, that's the way I look at it. It is very apparent that by trimming the teeth, the problem we had with the bearings getting stuck between the teeth is completely eliminated. And it's also very apparent, at least to me, that little by little we're getting our problem solved. Little by little we're getting our pieces made. And I'm getting more and more optimistic that this thing might actually work. <laughs>